Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Welcome back. It's all about Cardinal Healing. So excited to have our friend here, Debbie Fresca, joining us. Uh, fellow Long Islander, because I'm from New York and people don't know where that is. So is she. And we bonded over the past few weeks. And she really has an amazing gift. Would you mind sharing uh, what it is you do specifically? Okay. So my name is Debbie Cardinal Healings. Um, so I'm an in- energetic intuitive healer. So I created my own modalities to energetically release trapped emotions, traumas, toxins from the body. I also do an energetic acupuncture session and a chiropractor session. I work with people all over the world through Zoom, energetically aligning their bodies um, and so much more. The results are truly incredible. I love what I do. It's an absolute gift from God. Um, I'm all about instant healing, quantum healing, like let's just hit that reset button, live your best life and, and healing in like quantum leaps. It's so exciting. Great. And let me just also want to point out, uh, first of all, your website is cardinalhealings.com. Perfect. And the number, we're going to open up the phone lines in just a few minutes after we get started. 631-317-1291. 631-317-1291. Uh, they can call in and ask, tell me, can they ask anything? Can they ask for oh. even a you know, a lot of healings are deep, you know, we have to deal with childhood traumas and stuff, but stuff that's very simple that I can release in a minute is literally like breathing issues. If whether it's from grief, like grief and heartache live in the lungs. So if someone's had a death in their family recently, like feel like there's that elephant on their chest, they can't take that deep breath. That's like something I could do really quickly, just tap in, release some trapped emotions. So that would be the best issue to call in. And, um, yeah. <laughs> All right. Awesome. And now this type of work she's been doing, she's kind of, you've had this in you your whole life. And now you've, I mean, you're also a carpenter, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's a lot that you do, but when did you start? I mean, you were doing this for all your friends and family, probably your whole life. Right. And then you realize this is your calling. Actually not. I mean, I didn't know I had this gift till late. And this is another lesson. Like it's never too late. I didn't start doing this till I was like 50. I'm 55 now. So this is my purpose. It's why I'm here. But I had to go through my own journey and learn my lessons and learn to step into my power. And, you know, the whole self-doubt, the whole self-confidence thing, you know, going through those hurdles and getting to where I am today in such a high vibration of just a clear channel to help others. I've learned all my lessons. I've been through some stuff and uh, yeah, so it's all, it's about moving forward in life, not being stuck, you know, taking, having faith, um, just going with it. And cardinalhealings.com, again, want to point out as an intuitive healer, she can work with you anywhere across this platform of Zoom. Uh, and really, uh, we, we spoke last week. She's helped me now a few times. We've had some sessions. And we can we talk about that for a second? Of Do you course. mind? Because you did text me yesterday, but with work then sports <laughs> then I never got back to you so we did um I have some serious stomach issues I'll just put it that way severe and what she was feeling for me was that there was you can explain it so the first session we did was the clean slate deep healing um well even before that I checked I tapped into the organs this small intestine large intestine stomach where they were not happy I used my pendulum as my tool and then I released a bunch of trapped emotions, trapped energies. Think of like little balls of energy stuck in in the organs and systems. Um, So I released those. Actually, the rectum too holds conflict and all these these emotions. I cleared that. Then we got together. We did the clean slate, releasing trauma. So many of our issues are childhood trauma. It's past life stuff too, but so much is from childhood trauma. You know, our parents, whether it was kids at school, parents, whatever affects us today. And we need to clear that up. So I cleared cleared a ton of that. And that runs true because during the clean slate, which by the way, is one of your uh, packages, right? That you offer to everyone. One of my sessions. Yeah. Sessions. I should call them. Correct. Um, When I could not believe, well, it took longer than we thought it was. And she goes through basically, again, I'm explaining it from my end. I'm hearing her talk and she's doing her session. She brings the angels, the archangels and everyone in, and then she's going through each age. And at age three, I think was like most significant, like where I had. And I told her after the fact that I had a lot of childhood trauma, my parents fought 
tremendously horribly. And I feel like maybe that's part of why I am where I am in my life when it comes to relationships, because I saw some bad stuff. And I, I couldn't believe we were on age three for like 20 minutes. And she was trying to clear out that trauma. Like you mentioned, there's 365 days in a year. So right. that year in particular, I just, and I wish I could remember back. Now, what do people say? Well, I don't remember when I was a child. It doesn't matter. You're telling well, me it's coming like- through to you. Typical, I'm connecting with your subconscious. So what do we do? We block out any traumatic. We're like, I don't want to remember this. So we yeah. block people are like, you know, I don't remember my childhood. I don't remember what happened. Like some people know it clear as day. They can see themselves in third grade at the lunchroom or whatever. But like you have traumas, you block it out. And, you know, we're old souls. These little baby bodies, you know, like we've been around many, many, many times. So like these emotions and we, you picked up a lot from the womb, from your mom. We, we picked up prenatal trapped emotions and, you know, before you were even born, you were born with traumas and trapped emotions. So we cleared all that. Um, and we can't discern between reality and our thoughts. So say you, something traumatic happened when you were three and you keep reliving it in your head. It's like it happened a hundred more times. So, you know, we just cleared, 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 cleared all that. Um, I think you did feel, feel a sense of peace, lighter, happier after that session. Um, right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And it was like, you did this for how long? Um, it was, that was like a half hour session maybe, or a that little was the longer. Hour. We did that the was hour. the hour. Okay. That's what I remember. But we went over. And I just was, I, first of all, I had my eyes closed, which I'm never, ever relaxed. And I felt so relaxed and I felt, and so now the past few days have gone by and we've also done another healing we'll talk about in a second, but my bloating issues are still there. Uh, they're not as severe. I'm not crying in pain right now. So I'm really thinking there's just a lot more energy that's trapped in there. But like you said, it's not a one-time deal. It doesn't happen right that. Well, this is what, 40 something years of trauma and past life stuff and ancestral. So the second one we did was the womb healing. And then I did come up with candida and parasites. And you're like, oh my God, I've had- Stand by, we have a call coming in. Hold on one second. We'll talk more about that in a second. Hi, welcome to the show. You're live on the line. Who's this? Hey, my name's Aaron. How's it going? Good. Hi, Aaron. Please say hello, just to let you know you are live on, on the radio here with Hi, our Aaron. friend, Debra. Please say hello. And uh, is there a question, anything particularly you wanted to ask her? Yeah, so I've been uh, feeling kind of um, you know, stagnant lately. I've been feeling kind of like down and um, I feel like I haven't been as effective at work. And I kind of, I've been feeling kind of like um, in like a, a phase and I'm uh, trying to figure out um, you know, what I could do to try to, you know, get out of this and kind of get out of this rut and, you know, kind of clear up my mind. Okay. So right off the bat, so, so many of us, we have, when we go to that low place of worry, fear, stress, anxiety, we attract entities, dark energies that make us feel depressed in a funk that you can't get out. So I did just ch- tap in with my pendulum. You do have the entities and spirit out of body. So many of us have and yours just came up effort on receive, not feeling good enough, not feeling supported, not feeling validated. So your spirit's a little out of body. So that makes you feel very tired, brain foggish. So I can clear, clear that. So, um, would you like, can I go ahead? Yeah, sure. Okay. So I'm just going to just, so does he have any entities inside entities? I command you to part from Aaron, never to bother him again. Go to the light, go to the light, go to the light. Deep breath. Does he have any entities inside, attached, around him, in his living space, in his home? Any evil spirits inside? Evil spirits, I command you to part from Aaron, never to bother him again. Go to the light, go to the light, go to the light. Deep breath. Does he have any evil spirits? Does he have any disembodied spirits? Disembodied spirits, I command you to part from Aaron, never to bother him again. Go to the light, go to the light, go to the light. Another deep breath. Is his spirit 100% his body? No, due to effort unreceived. Cancel, clear, resolve feelings of effort unreceived, not feeling supported, not feeling validated, not feeling good enough. Letting that go, deep breath. Can I put his spirit back in his body? Yes, just relax. Another breath. Is his spirit 100% in his physical body? Are his lungs happy? Cancel, clear, resolve feelings of depression, sadness and depression, release sadness and depression, release stress and anxiety. Deep breath and download him with calm and peace. Calm and peace. Can I take a deep breath? Okay. 
Okay, so you may have felt the shift right away. Um, I don't know, some people that are more open and have more light are more connected. I don't know, take a deep breath. I don't know if you feel a sense of peace already, but you will shortly. Thank you, know, you. You, you feel it? Take a deep breath. You'll just feel like a, a lighter, happier, just a sense of peace by doing that. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better. Okay, yeah. Yay. <laughs> now, explain yeah. what's happening. Just so, you know, again, we have listeners here as well, as well as yourself, Aaron. Tell me what, what's going in through your mind, Deborah. So you're, you're tapping into, how do you explain it? So I'm a knowing, there's seers, knowers here. Some people hear the angels and I'm just, no, my tool is my pen. So I just ask, I ask and whatever I command is done. Like I ask, does he have any entities? Yes, I just, I have the power to clear them. I just ask that they be cleared and, um, you know, putting his spirit back in his body. I mean, people feel it come back in their body. They feel a sense of energy. Like it's like a deflated balloon and then you're filled. All of a sudden your soul is filling your body again. And it's just, yeah, those energies are frequencies. I just ask that sadness, depression be released, sent to the light, download you with calm and peace. It's just, it's energy, it's vibration. It's, I don't know, I got this crazy gift, but it's amazing and I absolutely love it. Yeah, I know, what is Aaron expected to feel? Like, I know that was quick, but at the same time, you really released that. Well, yeah. this is quantum feeling. People are like, you're quick and effective. I'm like, it doesn't have to take long. It's like instant, like bam, done. Like it doesn't have to take an hour. It takes like two minutes to like literally feel a shift. He already, so Aaron, let me not, how do you, let me, I'm not putting words in your mouth. How do you feel? I'm feeling a little bit enlightened. I'm feeling kind of um, more open. See, what I know is because I've been doing, I don't know if you heard this, but we, she's been helping me and I just feel, can I say the word happier? Oh, absolutely. I'm like happier. Like I, I'm a very stressed out person and I still am, but just, just calmer, happier. Yeah. And Erin, is there anything else that you wanted to ask? Is there anything else that you're going through that maybe she could help you with? Um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a lot better. That's really what, you know, the main thing I've been going through. Um, thank you so much. You're welcome, Aaron. Thank so you. there is, you know, I don't know what your childhood was like. Um, you know, there's, there's other sessions. If you want to read about them, see what, use your intuition. If something you read about, you know, like cardinalhands.com, my other sessions, if you're like, oh my God, I need that. Or like something resonates you, you know, there is further work we can do, but this definitely shifted you to feel lighter, happier, and just it put you in a better place. So there's definitely more work we can do, but yeah, it was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day. Call 631-317-1291. If you have any more questions, 631-317-1291. Awesome. 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 Um, so you were saying before this, I forgot where we were. Do you remember where we were before we called? I always lose my train of thought. Oh, the wound healing. So the parasites and the oh, candy. Yeah, candy. Yeah. So let's, let's talk about that. Now, this is crazy and I don't care to tell anyone this, but I suffer with like chronic yeast infections. I get them all the time. Some women do, some women don't. So uh, and, and she doesn't know that. Next thing you know, I hear her it, it explain. I'm like, I think that's the word for like yeast. Candida. <laughs> So what, yeah, what? I tap, we did the womb healing, which um, I do it for so many reasons for girls with period cramps, infertility. I do it for to stop hysterectomies and just for the divine feminine to, um, you know, open up your creativity and your connection. So um, yeah, I tapped, I asked for the normal feminine, you know, parasites, candida, any harmful um, bacteria, any parasites in the space. So I did, I was, and when I have to clear something more than once, it's a problem. So candida, I cleared it still. Yes. Clear, 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 still. Yes. I'm like, Oh my God, I'm clear and clear. I, she, I didn't know this. Then at the end, I finally, I got a yes, but it'll only clear enough. So your body, you don't want your body to go into like detox and like flu like symptoms and like all this. So it's only going to release what's 
for your best and highest good. So we may have to revisit this, but at the end, you're like, oh my God, I've had yeast well, infections. To the time. point where ready, and I don't care who tells me, but the truth is when a woman gets a yeast infection, then you got to make an appointment to see the doctor and they can't fit you in. You got to wait a day or two and you got to, and it's like, there's the over the counter stuff, but it's also the pill like called Diflucan. I know. So it's so annoying for someone like me. So what I do, thank God I know someone in the pharmacy business. So I have extra pills of Diflucan because no offense, it's, it's, is it illegal? No, not really. But you could buy it over the, you know, you can buy it over the internet from another country, but it's like, it was taking, I'm unco uncomfortable. And you yeah. want to wait, wait, wait. Do you want to know something I just realized? My mother, God bless her. If she was here, she's past five years. She would tell you this. This is good. I'm going to, she had me January 10th, 1978. And at that time, my father, like she didn't have a good relationship. She, she was young. She was had my sister 18, my brother 20. I was 21. She didn't know what was wrong with her for like the past few weeks. She went to go give birth and the doctor went, Oh my God, you have the worst yeast infection. <gasps> so I came out of her. Oh. She's like, I was, I was in the tub. She's like during like my labor pains thinking I'm itching it, but she didn't even know what that was. So she gave birth to me. I got goosebumps with the, she said the worst yeast infection the doctor's even seen. I talk oh. about uncomfortable, but she didn't know right. to ask or what that yeah. was. So now I'm thinking it came in for me through the womb back then. Yeah. Maybe that's why I'm so yeasty. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Wow, oh, I never thought God. I never thought of that. That is the it, truth. I love when it all makes sense. Like what I get on my side and it's showing in the physical, like, you know, when I have to, uric acid, uric acid, and the lady, she couldn't move her hands because she had so much uric acid in her joint. I cleared, cleared, cleared. By the end of the session, she was moving her finger. She's like, oh my God, it's cleared. Like yeah. energetically, I just acid it. So I mean for for you it was that. And we definitely have to revisit that. But yes, it was that just was one of my great stories, I remember what my mom always talking about, you know, the day you were born. And that's, I just, I totally forgot to even tell you that the other day. That mm -hmm. And so you true. had a bunch of trapped emotions, um, prenatal, like in the womb, like I said before, you know, we took, you took on the emotions of your mom. And so you were born with the traumatic memories, that, you know, traumas in your body and energies. So it's, you know, it's crazy, right? That we're, we're fighting all this between toxins and emotions and all this, our body. I always bring our body back to God's perfect blueprint. God and, and made the perfect human. Our bodies are amazing. We can grow a human being inside our bodies. Why do you think it can't heal itself? Oh, it can. You know, we're just been lied to our whole lives that we need a yeah. pill. We need a doctor. We need, you yeah. can't just ask and it be healed. Like our organs and our, there's a consciousness to our, that's why I asked lungs. Are you happy? No, what's the matter? Why yeah. are you happy? Oh, yeah. I have some. And I just release it. Like Aaron was an example right there. I mean, I, the entities that his body had some effort unreceived in his body. I cleared it. And when you say <laughs> entities, can you clarify what that means? And there's parasites, entities, evil spirits. They're just bad things, yeah, well, bad energy, that bad. are attached what to you... those low vibe energies of okay. worry, fear, shame, guilt, you know, all that. And then they're attached to like that. The entities, like they are dark energies that, when you go to that low place, the muck and they like get her while she's down. Like basically yeah. disembodied spirits are more like hitchhikers. Like they were souls that didn't cross over yet that they want to jump in bodies and like experience the human experience. Still it's, they're not evil or, or harmful. They're just like going, hanging out for the ride. <laughs> okay. Oh but my the God. evil spirits are harmful, you know, like, and, and what are they like, like, what are they? Are they, people in our life coming back or just people that we don't even know people that have deceased yeah, just, people that are stuck in the meat. Like what are evil spirits? I really don't even know. Just dark energies that are att attached to these, these low vibe emotions, just energy, dark energies that wow. get in our bodies and attach to us and like cause harm to the human. You know, you want to take us down and we have to fight them off. And it's like staying in a high vibration. If you're in a high vibration of peace, love, happiness, and joy, they can't touch you. But when you drop down to worry, fear, stress, anxiety, it's like, bam, get her. And you have to fight them off and you feel depressed. That's why so much depression is just entities that I can clear in two minutes. You don't need antidepressant medications that are going to make you more depressed and suicide. If you read that, you hear the commercial. Oh, suicide. Oh, it's like two minutes of I'm all like, the things that can harm you. Yeah. And, oh, it's so frustrating, but. Yeah. And, and, and thank you. So she also does womb healings. Ladies, I've had, this is talking to someone who couldn't ever get pregnant naturally. So I've had some issues and I had to do IVF and all that great stuff. So she did a womb healing as well the other day. And like she was mentioning, found the candida, found all these things. So that 
could be a huge uh, thing that's affecting me. And before you run and spend thousands of dollars on doctors, which no offense, I did years ago, I had no other choice or right. God bless y'all that have insurance that covers it. Go for it. Um, you know, now I do have insurance. We live that, 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 that cover. Go figure. I, ha you know, like I, I used to have really good insurance. Now I don't have good insurance, but the, the not good insurance pays for those things. I hate the right. whole medical system. Well, it's so horrible. What? Yeah, that's the thing. People don't know this is available to them because it's been hidden. It's been like, you know, it's all woo and all crazy cray cray. Those people, you know, but, you know, the womb healing. So our souls, if you believe their souls ready to drop in, we pick our parents. And for, you know, sometimes like I would never pick those parents. Like why? But it's always a lesson. It's like some karma or something. The reason you picked your parent. But anyway, so there's a soul waiting to drop into this wootery. And they're like, I ain't dropping it. You got to clean that <laughs> stuff up before I drop in there. Like uh -huh. whether it's dark energy, there's entities in there. There's evil spirits in there. There's, you know, it's creation. We're creating life in there. And then when you have your partner, you know, sexual <laughs> partners throughout your life, you're letting people in that space that, you know, some shouldn't be in that space, you know, whatever. You got to clean up that energy and just the toxins, the trauma. So literally like this girl, she tried for five years to get pregnant. I did the womb healing. She got pregnant the next month, the next ovulation after five years. I think she's due like any day now. Oh my gosh. Talk about crediting cardinal healings. My goodness. <laughs> but so like literally the, the, the soul is like, I'm ready. I'm hanging out a book. I'm just, you got to clean and do some work before I drop in, you know? Can I ask you a question about that? Just if you even know, because I, I, I'm, I'm Catholic. I'm not so religious at all, but I'm really good friends with the Monsignor. And actually for my first IVF doctor appointment ever in 2014, he lives in Brooklyn. He came with me. He was friends with the doctor because his niece went there. So, you know, because, you know, Catholic, oh, church, they don't believe in IVF and whatever. But my question to him, he didn't know, my doctor doesn't know, but someone like you may know. Okay. When, okay, you have a sperm and egg and it makes, you know, embryo. Okay. When does the soul enter? Does the soul, because then I said, I made two embryos. Do I have frozen souls or are they embryos? And the soul, some people say the soul comes out during birth. Some people say it happens at five months. When do you get a soul? When, when do you, well, you get to pitch, jump not in? at birth because it, you already have a soul. Yeah. All those emotions. But in is the it womb inception with, you know, or when do you think the soul comes it's in? It's like, see the thing is conception with a male and a female that moment of consent like that light it's like a spark of of life but so then like IVF, you're not getting that spark well, of well life. you are they're mixing a sperm and an egg and it's happening in a petri dish oh yeah so maybe so, in the, so, I, 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 I i'm curious because i'm like does that mean i have two frozen souls <laughs> in a freezer right now or and he's like i don't know the doctor's like oh, and he's the doctor's jewish this guy's catholic like we don't know i'm like i'm just curious i, I wanted to know if i have frozen souls yeah good question <laughs> I can't give you a de definite, I can definitely tell you it's not at birth though. It's definitely yeah, it's before. In, in the womb, you know. Somehow from, during the process. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Random question. <laughs> uh, Deborah, what else do you want us to know about you, your work, your healings? Uh, we still have some time here. Yes. So if you're open to this, if you, anything resonated with you, um, if you're open to this, I mean, I see miracles every single day. I mean, people are so grateful. They're telling me you're my new doctor. People are very against doctors that I work with. You know, they, if you believe in this, you know, you don't want medicines, you know what they do to you, you know, what childhood vaccines do, you know, all these, you know, these doctors have to make name everything. Oh, you have blah, blah, blah. Here's the pill to go with it. Like ADHD and all the, you know, all the floor, the, in our food, the dyes, the vaccines. I don't believe in, I believe that's all the problem. You know, God made the perfect human. It's, they just want us sick. Big pharma wants us sick so they can make billions and billions of dollars on us. They don't want us dead. They just want us dead. A few, you know, they want to reduce the population, but they want us sick. So we rely on their medications and we don't need them. God, Mother Earth, you know, all these plants, plant medicine is real. God, Mother Earth gave us everything we need. And we just, you know, the body's amazing. It's fighting off all this stuff. It's, and I can literally energetically remove toxins, fluoride, heavy metals, like literally just acid that they release and sent to the light. And people feel the shift instantly. And to me, this is fascinating. What is, what is like your husband, your family, friends say, like, what do they say about you? You know? Thank God, my husband believes in me. My kids, of my dad. Course, my, but there's some family members that think it's whack. They don't understand it. They just don't. They think it's a little woo woo crazy. They don't. So I just I don't talk to him about it because it hurts my heart to you know because I know I know what I do. I mean I've been doing this. I've worked with thousands of people now all over the world. They cry. They 
thank me. They're so grateful that they found me. They're like, oh my God, I've been waiting for this my whole life. Like, it's just, there's no denying. It's going to make me cry again (laughs) because she offered to work with me and help me. Thank you. You're welcome. And we have mutual friends. Yeah. So after this, I'm taking you to the, 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 the strip steakhouse. Okay. So we live kind of close. So thank you. But it's so nice that there's good people out there that. Yeah. It's just a God given gift. There's no human that could have taught me this. I don't need a piece of paper that says I'm certified. God (sighs) certified me. This is why I'm here. It's a gift from God. Like (laughs) Bubs, I can't, I can't. I love hearing. I love when people speak from experience, you know, I could talk about it all day, but when someone like you or Aaron speaks from experience, that's, you know, that's everything. Oh, and just curious, how many healings can you do in a day? Do you get exhausted physically, mentally, no, or do you have, or you could do like, are you, do you sleep? Do you wake up at night? Do, do, do you have like normal sleep patterns? Or I'm just curious yeah, how no. your brain and mind, mind works and body. I sleep great. I mean, I'm in such a high vibration. I'm like out of the muck. I'm up here, like watching this from above and just like pulling everybody. I'm like at the top of the mountain, pulling everybody up. I'm like, come on, come on up here. So I, this feeds my soul, like hearing the feedback that I changed somebody's life in 30 minutes, that they feel a shift, they feel better. You know, I do eight sessions a day, some days, like literally every hour, I just like run out, take a bite of food. Like I, I love, love, love what I do. It feeds me if I'm not doing like this week, my husband's off. So I took the week off. I just doing a little, I'm like, I miss it. You know, I miss it. I, cause I just love it. It's not work for me. It's, it's what I love doing. I love helping people and you know, yeah. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Well, thank you so much. If we want to reach out to you for one of your sessions, uh, please remind us of all forms of contact. Yes. So it's cardinalhealings.com. You can click, there's a description of all the different sessions that I do. You can read about them, click the book now session. It'll bring you to, um, you know, a date and time. If You can pick your day and time and then you can pay through there. Um, Facebook, Instagram is Cardinal Healings. Um, email Cardinal Healings at Gmail. Kept it very simple. <laughs> and the other connection, the Cardinal, like I told her when my mom passed and a lot of us see Cardinals and it's like, you want to hear something crazy quick before we go? So my kids wanted like one of those igloos at the restaurant, which are way too expensive. Like during the winter, they have them, right? Yeah. So I got a cheap one off of Amazon that doesn't look like the real one with the poles, (laughs) but so, um, set it up. And, um, the the next day, this was in the winter came out, there was a red cardinal inside of it. (gasps) And we thought the doors was zipped up and everything. So I goosebumps again. I'm like, it's a sign. I always say this Carl's in my yard is my mom, but, ah, cardinal healings, cardinals. It is. Um, that, you're amazing. I'm just gonna leave you with Thank you. one last thing. There's no such thing as coincidence. That's the problem with humanity. Oh, that was just a coincidence. Oh, that eleven, that number or whatever. There's no. If everyone could get that out of their mind, it was not a coincidence. It's your angels, your guides, nice. your past loved ones trying to connect with you. If we could just get that, that's huge. You know right. what I mean? Like, yeah. But thank yeah. you so much, and I'll shoot you a text tomorrow, and we'll work again soon. I hope. Okay. I can't wait. Thank you so much. I'm taking the kids out tonight too. We're going to make it to a vineyard for like a half hour. And then I got a free hotel room out east. My sister, her kids, the neighbor's kids, they're all coming to swim in the pool. So I'm busy tonight, but tomorrow I'll be back for work and I'll, I'll shoot you a text. Okay. Thank you so much. I love to you. Cardinal healings guys, check her out. She's the real deal. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcasts on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. 
Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay.